Hi guys, welcome to our kitchen. It's pretty rough looking, the lighting is rough, but we're gonna go on a little adventure today and I'm feeling festive as hell. It is Thanksgiving and I'm kind of jumping the gun and going straight to Christmas. And today we have, you know, via Costco, we have some delicious hot chocolate bombs. And so I am really feeling the peppermint today. So I have some whipped cream, I have some milk I've heated up and we're gonna go ahead and make a delicious hot chocolate. <laughs> okay guys, take a look. She's just about completely dissolved. So we're gonna have a whipped cream moment. It's Thanksgiving day, so I have no inhibitions. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> So we have a few things here, but I can tell right away, I don't think that there's anything that I'm gonna want. The man in the yellow raft. Once, what's this? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> can you see that? Is that showing up on camera? Kind of right here. Turn, turn. Oh, it's a Harry Potter journal. That's kind of cool. Is it used? No, it's a new, brand new Harry Potter journal. But honestly, guys, there's not too much in this one. I need this, I think. Yeah, you're pretty bad with math. I am. Um, yeah, okay. Well, guys, this one didn't have too much, but really I cool. am going to replace this with one of the books that I brought. Okay, this book that I'm going to replace it with is called Blue City by Ross MacDonald. I got this from another book library and I was really drawn to it because I thought the cover was really cool. Like this like naked blue lady, I don't know. <laughs> but then I just realized I don't think I'm ever gonna read it. So um, I think I'm gonna just put it back. So I'm gonna replace with that book right there. I think it was like spy fiction kind of stuff and that's just not really my cup of tea, but I thought the cool vintage cover was awesome. Look how cute that is. Little hummingbird. I don't know where to park. I'm just gonna pull up right here. Okay. <gasps> Guys. <laughs> Seeing an utter classic. This, guys, we know how important this book was to me. Okay, what's this? Some little reading things, some open court reading. But I see something really cool. Roll doll. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Glass Elevator. These are great classic kids books. I know people love Roll doll, but I don't know. It's just kids lit generally isn't my cup of tea. I've tried it and it just doesn't really work for me so i'm gonna i'm gonna put that back but like that's a great find for somebody else okay and then forrest gump <laughs> and then okay the fountains of silence don't feel and then i know this is a really popular one the hate you give but i don't think i'm gonna grab that one today so cool there's some good stuff in that one it's just not the right stuff for me just because I know a book is a good book doesn't mean I'm gonna get it if it's not for me you know so I'll leave those ones for other people to find we are going to go to a little library called the Ghibli library so I'm really excited mm -mm -mm. I keep getting it on my nose Gert looks really special right now honey girl good girl honey girl Okay, we are at our third little book library. It looks like a Fisher's Price. It is. Okay, Cat Miss Carols. <laughs> the cat and their curmudgeon. <laughs> so 
Someone really likes cats. This Carol's some more. Oh my gosh, guys, throwback. This was like, this was my childhood. Oh my gosh, meow. More, wait, more mystery cats. Look how terrifying their faces are. That's hilarious. Um, Captain Underpants, that was also a classic. What is this? This is kind of cute, but I don't. These are some great kids books. Yeah, some great kids books, that's for sure. Kind of like a part of me wants it, but I'm like, I'm not gonna read it. So I just need to be real. I think that's a great book for somebody else. The, the mailbox thing is very fitting, the kids play. Yeah, it looks like a kids thing. Okay, cool. Okay, this one looks like it's got some stuff. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got a Danielle Steele. We've got, this is not the life I ordered. We've got Delancey. That does not sound good to me. It's really crazy how much like a title really makes a difference. Anne Rule. I really want to read her one book. I think it's like The Witching Hour or something, but I want that to be like my introduction to her. Homefront Girls. Oh, The Gates of the Forest by Ellie Wiesel. I totally want to read this because I read his other book, Night, and it was amazing. Tattoos on the Heart. I feel awkward because people are walking by. Cleaning sucks. How to unf your habits. It's like what a crass way of putting that. Will by Will Smith. The cover is really cool, but I just don't. I just don't have. <laughs> how to slap. I don't. I just don't have any desire to read about him I don't know I'm like you're famous cool oh my god it's barely fit in here queen bees wannabes I don't want to be birth the surprising history of how we were born this is a really good book that I read but I don't feel the need to have the physical copy of it but I already read this I listened to it on audiobook and it was really Really good, so that's an awesome find. It's called Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney, and it's about this couple, and they go on a getaway to this, like, church that's been refinished in the middle of, like, nowhere in Scotland, I think, and it just, like, calamity and chaos ensues. How'd you rate it out of five? Um, four, 4.5. It was pretty so good. Really good. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. A knock at midnight and body surfing so I'm really interested in this this says Gregor a young Hungarian Jew hiding from the Nazis in the forests and small towns of Eastern Europe allows another refugee to sacrifice himself in his stead from that point on Gregor struggles to find redemption and to understand the meaning of his own guilt I don't know, I read his one book, there's so many cars. I read his one book, Night, which is his memoir about him and his father in a concentration camp and it was amazing. It even won a Nobel Prize. And so I am interested to read this. So let me just look up the reviews. So just from looking up reviews, I didn't realize that he had written like 57 books or something. And so I don't know, like the, the plot just doesn't sound that grabbing to me, so. Even though I am kind of interested in reading more of his stuff, I don't know if this is going to be the one that I read. So I think I'm going to leave that there. Lots of good finds, again, honestly. And they're just not finds that I think are right for me. Okay. So we have Lena Remney's Troublemaker, which is Rem Remini. 
Anyways, this is a really good book. If you want to learn about Scientology, it's is amazing. It Romany? I don't know, Luke. <laughs> you want to try that again? <laughs> no. Some, like, war books. The stories of Russell Banks. I don't know who that is. Love Medicine. Anne Bishop Etched in Bone. <laughs> the Onion Girl. Okay. <laughs> Some just like really, really random ones. Sea of Poppies. <laughs> this is an amazing cover. Um, okay guys, another kind of disappointing. This is a big boy. Okay. <gasps> Junie B. Jones. I related so much to her when I was a kid. Just like always saying the wrong thing, kind of like putting her foot in her mouth. Um, listen to Squawking Chicken. Oh, the series of unfortunate events. This is number one. Bad beginning. I might take this. A slow fire burning, Paula Hawkins. Ooh. I don't know. She's the one who did the girl on the train. So I don't know. I felt like that was kind of like a so so thriller. Okay. Girl in a cage. Before she disappeared. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna put these two here. No more dead dogs. Yes, please. Beverly Cleary, she was another one when I was a kid. I don't think, I, I don't know if I've read it, I just feel like she was everywhere. The Guardian, Nicholas Sparks. Isn't he like the romance guy? Yep. He certainly is. Woo. Bed's Time Stories, too. Looks well loved. To be a king. Oh my god. How are people throwing out this classic so much? Why is it in so many book boxes, guys? It sucks. <gasps> Don't say that. Forbidden. Wicked Autumn. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm going to look up a slow fire burning. We'll see. Okay, guys. It is a 3.5, so I'm not going to go for it. I've got a few thrillers in my current collection that have way better reviews. And I don't know, I, I don't, again, I just struggle with, with like middle grade fiction. I don't know, it's a tough one for me. <laughs> this one has some really nice, cool stuff. Okay, 1979. Jodi Picoult, she was another one that was like really popular when I was in high school. She had My Sister's Keeper, I think. Um, what is this? Like the boxcar children? No. No, that is. Oh. An Island Garden. Oh, that's beautiful. What is it? It's really pretty. Hmm. I'm gonna look this up because that's like really gorgeous. I wonder when this was from. 1988. Hmm. We'll see. <gasps> they have Terry Pratchett's Mort. This is so good. I already own it, or else I would 100% be getting this. Terry Pratchett has the Discworld series, and it is really great. I started reading this, and it's just like really sarcastic and funny, and just like so imaginative so 
Um, okay, let's see. Steve Martin. I wonder if that's Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Probably not. Probably, probably not. That's a pretty it says pretty. Martini. Oh. <laughs> Odd bird. I think that this might be a middle grade. I'm not interested in middle grade. Only killers and thieves. Hmm. Doesn't spark my interest. The Buddha at my table, a memoir. How I found peace. This one's just wrecked. This one is just wrecked. Okay, this one. State of wonder. This one, dude, somebody like is really rough on their books. <laughs> Um, what's this about? Wow, someone did a dog get at this? It blends into the environment. Um, oh, really? Well, not close it. Like, look, it's like a jungle. <laughs> no, the cover, the cover. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> was being Um, Dr. Marina Singh embarks on an uncertain odyssey to the insect infested Amazon. She'll be forced to surrender herself to the lush, forbidding world. I don't know, honestly, this book is. Face at a hard no. This book is in very rough condition, so I'm not sure on that. She's sure. A, look at, like, who owned these books? Look at, it's like the front cover is gone. Tammy Hogue, The Boy. I'm pretty sure, is that that um, book that was, like, with, no, this is a detective novel, it looks like, but I'm thinking of, like, the Hugh Grant movie, The Boy, from, like, the early 2000s. Water for Elephants, I read this when I was in high school. It was just kind of like cheesy romance, but. Okay, the Gargoyle Hunters. <laughs> no, thank you. Ooh, Anthony Trollope. The Claverlings. Again, just books in very rough condition. Again. Um, Peace Like a River, I already own. Haven't read it yet, though. And 13 Moons. Ooh, author of Cold Mountain. That's very interesting to me, but again. What did this person do to their books? Um, upset. I don't know. I'm not. They're just in really rough condition. So I'm going to look up quickly this thing here. An island garden and see if that's something I'm interested in. I'm getting it. Okay, listen. So I'm kind of lightly reading the description and Tasha Tudor is mentioned and I love Tasha Tudor. She is a famous illustrator who illustrated a lot of children's books like The Wind in the Willows and The Secret Garden. And so I'm very interested and it just says, this book chronicles a year in the life of Thaxter's garden on the island her father had purchased in 1848 and renamed Appledore Island. The hotel he built there was among the New England, was among New England's first offshore summer resorts and attracted writers, musicians, and artists, including the American impressionist child a Sam, whose beautiful paintings of Thaxter's house and garden are reproduced in this book. Generally considered one of the most delightful examples of horticultural writing, an island garden has served as an inspirational for essayists and gardeners alike. And it has lots of really good five-star reviews. So I'm excited. I'm so glad I found this. It's so cute. So I'm going to go get a book to replace this. Okay, the book I am putting back is one that I bought to read with my friend for like a book club. Her and I don't have the most similar taste, but we have enough overlap that we can usually make it work. And she suggested this and I'd seen the movie when I was like What's in middle called? school. It's called The Time Traveler's Wife. Um, and so I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. And I've hated it. And so I ordered the audiobook, and I have no interest in owning the physical copy, but I know a lot of people do like The Time Traveler's Wife. And so I'm gonna plop that one in here. This one has a lot and it's really chaotic. Okay. Um, I'm just kind of like scanning through the book titles rather than pulling out everything that's in here because it's just very chaotic. Collected lyric. Oh God. I see Ann Tyler in here. I know my father-in-law likes her, but I don't really like her. Okay, mothers. Looks interesting, but yeah. no, honestly, guys, I don't think that there's anything in here that that's going to be it for me. Oh. 
Let's see if we can make this look a little bit better and a little bit less chaotic. Yeah. Make it like a puzzle. Canada. Oh. Okay, well. Let's. Okay, yeah, I'm Canadian, so I'm gonna get this to show my niece the Canadian provinces. Map of Canada, so that's kind of cool. And I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna replace it with Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel. I read it and finished it and I liked it, but I'm just, I feel like I'm only trying to keep books if they're like, like a five out of five or like just a favorite that I'll want to read again. And I think that like once was enough for me with this one. So I'm gonna put this one back. Hopefully somebody else can enjoy. All right. That's it for me. That's all. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't the greatest haul, but I'm not just gonna grab books just for the sake of grabbing books, you know? At least it was fun driving around. Yeah.